Dayton is giving people a glimpse of the downtown arcade buildings, and you don't even have to leave the comfort of your home. Christian Hauser shows us how it's done and why the city is being the tour guide. The Dayton Arcade has been closed for nearly 25 years, but now the city is giving the public and developers an online tour of what it looks like inside. They hope that could get some interest in redeveloping the downtown icon. Pam Jeffers has not been inside the Dayton Arcade since the 1990s. She loved going in because it offered so many different stores, but especially around the holidays. From the, the dome ceiling, they draped lights from garlands of stuff and they would all decorate it up and it would be really nice at Christmas. Those times are a distant memory. Take a look at what the inside looks like now. This is from a live tour the city just hosted online. So as we walk, I'm going to talk a little bit about this rotunda. This is what I would describe as a sacred urban space. This was the first in a series of three. The city commission approved $750,000 for emergency repairs to the complex, which has been vacant since 1991. The repairs are hoped to keep the building dry and structurally sound in anticipation of possible future redevelopment. I think that if those that have been inside before and remember it are probably going to be shocked by the way it looks now. The public hasn't been allowed inside since 1991. Reporting in Dayton, Christian Hauser, Fox 45 News on ABC. Pretty cool to see inside. And as Christian said, this was the first of three live tours. The second one will be Wednesday and will focus on the building's roof. And the third on November 13th will look at the possible residential uses for the building. And we posted today's entire tour online. Just go to fox45now.com and look for the story.